Williams High School. Thank you all so much for being with us today. I'm going to keep my remarks brief because I know I'm boring, so whatever, here we go. Um, this class behind me has spent the past three months creating a speech all about the lesson that they want to leave behind for the Archbishop Williams High School community. And I got to tell you folks, they did a great job. You will be very, very impressed by their performance today. Before we get started, I wanted to take a minute to speak specifically to the seniors in the room because your classmates have chosen to dedicate today's performance to you. You've grown up together and you've worked really, really hard during your time at our Bishop Williams High School. And you're blessed to be a part of your class and you're blessed to be a part of theirs. So thank you very much for spending your time here with us. We are very proud of you and we wish you nothing but the best as you head on to the next chapter of your life. So
think that this school has done a great job preparing us for what's yet to come. And I think that when we get out of here, we deserve to the school to really fulfill the promise that we made to them and make a huge name for ourselves. Final thing I'd like to say is thank you. And now, I'll thank you for listening. Thank you for experiencing this with me. Whether you know it or not, you have all had a huge role in my life, just by being a part of this community. I may not remember some of your faces, I may not remember a lot of your names, but I will always remember the impact you had or just by being a part of the Irish community. Um, <laughs> it's so easy to look at your life and talk about how RC has left its mark on you, but it's a lot harder to really notice how we left our mark right back on you. I want you to really internalize this for a second. Before you came into this school, it was different. And when you leave, it will be different. Because you were here. Because everybody, no matter how big or how small, has left an impact on this school. And because of that, the school will never be the same because we were all in. I think that's really great. I think you should really appreciate that. Final thing I'd like to say is thank you to my family. Thank you to the Irish community. Thank you to all the boys. For making this last chapter of my life an amazing one and one to remember. I can't wait to get to the next chapter with a lot of you again. Thank you.
much. Bought my entire life. Now, Bell Arts is not offering 
FEMA program, boxing is a huge part of who I am today. High school and boxing have a lot of problems. They'll break you up or knock you down. Make you feel on top of the world, it's so exciting to not go on. I, I realize that high school and boxing are a lot in the same. Lennox Lewis once claimed that he played four, four hours of chess a day in training camp to learn more about strategy. High school should be the same way. You should have a strategy. It can change over your four years here, but ultimately it should come down to enjoying every minute and making the days count. First, you have the days where you get knocked down. You failed the test, forgot homework, followed the front. I definitely had a lot of those days. I had the day that I got knocked down, and I thought I couldn't get back up. But I did get back up, and now I'm standing here fine. Next, you have the days where you're so tired, you thought you couldn't go on. How are we going to do three more years here? Two more months here, one week left. Now we're all up here, let's graduate, we don't want to leave. And finally, you have the knockout days. The days where you pay successfully in study for, the Friday before vacation, or, or the day of prom. All of those days are great, but they don't, but they don't matter in the end. The days that matter are the ones where you got knocked down and got back out of school life. Because in the end, those days will make us who we are. I want to finally say thank you to everyone here. Thank you to my family, especially my mom and dad, for making this all possible. And thank you to my friends, whether I met them through high school or through boxing. I want to say thanks, because you helped form who I am today. And finally, I want to leave on this. Enjoy your time here, and don't, don't waste any of it. Because now, now about to graduate, I'm definitely going to miss all these people here. <laughs>
spent a lot of time on his crazy lives. He the only in the world to you, and you will slowly but somehow come to this realization, even if it's all once. So yes, I somehow took it up there with butterflies in my stomach and told you all about how hard it's still to be, and how there are moments where you feel powerless and get caught up in the traffic of it all. It's a lot to take in. There's many, many beginnings and many small endings, but you must reassure yourself that not only in your head, but in your heart, that it's going to be okay. Things will go your way in the end. And you don't have to believe this because, because I told you, but I know in my heart that you soon will not. Because one day, when you're about to walk across the stage, you'll realize it on your own. Just take it from me or anybody else that has stuck their high school years here. This school will change your life. Any high school would, but here it's different. And it's hard to put that into words, but it just is. You'll find yourself a couple days away from graduation, realizing that everything is falling into place, even when it never felt like it would. The school has taught me so much more, in, more than academics. It has taught me lessons that have influenced my character and ones that I will continue to live up. So I'll leave you all with this. When I was asked what I was going to be writing my last lecture on, and my overall opinion on high school, one simple word came to mind, complicated. And it is undeniably complicated. But in my time here, I have learned that there's a solution to every problem, a friend for every tier, and a whole family to fall back on. So trust me, when you're at the point I am, you won't understand how or why, but you know that everything will work itself out. People need to learn to accept change and embrace it because it's part of life. Ever since I was born, I lived in Paris. I would go into the same routine for school and for summer, and just started to bore me all the time. I was bored of everything being the same. One day, at my league baseball trials, I was talking with one of my best friends, Jeremy Marini, and we were joking about how I should transfer to Archie's. At first, it was a joke, but then I thought about it and I actually wanted to go. I told my parents, and they also thought I was joking. But then I asked if I could apply, and if I could shout out, and they knew that I was being serious. The day I stepped into Archie's, I didn't know what it was, but I knew that I belonged. I knew that I had to go, and in the end, I know I made the right choice. Without change, there's no saying as to where I would be in life. There's no saying as to where I'd be without Archie's, without being hung at Archie's. There's no saying as if I would have the chance to play college baseball, which I did. But there's no saying as to if I would get one of the best schools in the country for my major. Yes, of course, I was afraid when I changed my whole life by such high schools. In fact, the first day of soccer tryouts, I didn't even need anything, and I threw up because I was so nervous. <laughs> but, as Will Smith once said, fear is an illusion. And once we jump past fear, we can enjoy the change that's happening around us. Because, I, because I've accepted change, it's made my life so much better. I've always had the dream to play college baseball. But me being at Pembroke, I didn't think I had a chance. But coming to Archie's, I knew Coach Dillon had a lot of connections, and I knew that I had a better chance. Now, I had, I had a chance to play at a beautiful school. But I, ever since I was, oh, <laughs> so ever since I was a kid, I didn't think I would go to a school far from home. And let alone the school being in Texas. Even when I was a freshman, I didn't think that I would be going to, to visit a school in Texas. But now I have the now I had the chance, uh, I had the choice to stay at a school close to home and play baseball and stay in the same routine, or go and change my life like a 180. Now I made a decision and it's been the biggest decision of my life. I'm going to Bailey University in Texas. And without, without me accepting change, I feel like I might, I might have regretted not going to Texas. Change can be a blessing in disguise for people when they don't accept it. Once we jump past fear and find out that fear is an illusion and embrace it, it can make people's lives so much better. In the end, people fear change, but change can be a blessing in someone's life like mine. I will look back and start to license boxes inside the house. 
thousands, but the one sought to me by the people who have surrounded me for the past four years. Coming into freshman year, I had no idea the impact my thoughts makes have had on me. From then to now, they teach me into the person I am today. Not only do they teach me so many important lessons, but we're also by my side for four unforgettable years in my life. The class 2018 is a special class, and I think that you can agree with me when I say we're all grateful to be a part of it. I also think you can agree with me when I say we're going to miss it here at our teams. From the people who made this class so special and unique, I learned a lot. I learned that there's nothing more important than spending time with amazing friends and family. I was lucky enough to come with my sisters on my side, an amazing support system back home, and you'd be lucky to meet so many great people here. I learned that old friends are the best friends, and no one can replace them. I would be lost without the eight girls that I grew up with and still call my closest friends, but I also learned there's nothing wrong with new ones. I've met so many people who I know will be in my life forever inside this building. I learned that it's just about day, not about life, and to not stress the little things. I learned that it's so important to be independent during your time here at Archie's because you follow you be on your own. I came here with my sisters on my side and just a few people I knew. I was reserved in my personality because I was in a new place with all new people. As I got more familiar with Archie's and his people, I began to come out of my shell. For as long as I can remember, my sisters and I have been known as the triplets. Despite being so different, we were grouped together no matter where we went. Coming to Archie's gave us the opportunity to make a name for ourselves. Now, in just a few months, we'll go our separate ways to college. Autism gives us the opportunity to be independent, all while attending the same school, which I am forever grateful for. I know it's ironic because I'm a triplet, but whether or not it be your friend group or your siblings, I encourage you to be your own person and see to your values. My sisters taught me to step out of my comfort zone and supported me when I did. From them, I also learned that sharing a room is not going to be easier, but if you wait long enough, Captain will clean the whole room and Shannon will do all the laundry. <laughs> I learned that there's nothing more annoying than Ubering from Sunday to wake up on a Saturday night, but I couldn't imagine it any other way. I learned that days go slow, years go fast, as school flies by, time doesn't stop for anybody. Graduation comes faster than you think, so enjoy every minute in these halls. I always remember, when you look back in 10 years, you're one of the people sitting next to you as the people you were lucky enough to grow up with. So get to know your classmates. They'll teach you more than you could ever learn in any class. Learning from the people around you is just part of growing up. Most importantly, I learned that the people around you shape who you are. So I'll leave you with this. I challenge you all to surround yourselves with love, laughter, and positivity, and you'll learn quite a few things. Spend the time with people who care, and you'll learn to do the same. Spend the time with people who are kind, and you'll learn to be the same. Energy is contagious. Surround yourself with it. Be your own person and stay true to your values. You never know who you may influence. I challenge you all to surround yourself with the people who will teach you the lessons you'll never learn in any classroom. Because that's what makes actually such a special school, is what being my, my past four years here are unforgettable. So thank you to the class of 2018 and the whole Archie's community for teaching me so many lessons both inside and more importantly outside the classroom. I hope you learn a few things too. Don't be expected to just make the playoffs and be able to win a team and go home. It's 
seems like it's been a really long time rolling out of here. Program that had a culture of no surround success. Nobody was going to settle for anything else than that. I honestly couldn't thank those boys enough for the past four years because they were the time and all that. So don't settle with that being average today and going through your day or two. Try to be great at anything, whatever it may be. Make a difference on the people around you. Try to make someone else's day a great day. Don't make a world of difference. Finally, never settle. So we do this. Anything in life worth doing is worth over doing. Start high school is scary. It's scary when you choose to go to a store and you don't know. I've been to some RG specifically because I didn't know anyone and I wanted to take one of them. Now being a senior, I realized how hard it actually is. First day of freshman year, I walked in looking cute with my hair cut high and my ears ready to go. And you wonder who's part of the popular group, so I sat down with them and started my high school. The staff goes by and then with all those girls. Except they don't hang out and I wouldn't be invited or be too afraid of this way to be fun. I started to act different. I wasn't being the same to all my friends outside of school. I thought someone else said it much. But it took me until almost halfway through being here to do that, but I thought it was time to act like myself. And at first, really a period of time, I didn't have any friends, or so I thought, I thought that makes sound silly. I had one friend, shout out to y'all, and we started getting friends at the end of May, sophomore year, and we went to New York together, and Memorial Day weekend that same month. We had gone through this end of the situation, so it was ironic that these two little sad girls had found each other. And now, close to graduation, we have a group of friends that I could never replace. I don't want to make it seem like I need any of those popular girls now, because we still have very close relationships, and I can go to them for anything. A lot of us have classes together, most of us do sports, and a lot of us still see each other outside of school. Like I said, we're not best friends, but when I think about my high school experience, they're always going to have a special place in my mind. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm having a bad day or if I'm in a bad mood, because Kimmy and the Julia is probably there too. It doesn't matter if I'm listening to my get up music, or if Julia is listening to a stupid friend's snapshot, because neither of us want any other songs. It's easier to wake up in the middle of bed in the morning and think this would have to impress. Kimmy and Julia and Roberts are in the same boat as us, friends with no group. Somehow, slowly but surely, we all came together, and now we have our own group chat, and I couldn't picture my senior year without friendships. Looking back, everything happened so fast. So if I could go back to freshman year, I would tell myself just to be you. Don't pretend to do certain things or like different things for fun. Just be yourself. Keep doing the same things you like, and make sure you find someone who's doing the same thing. Take it all in because you're going to miss these days. 
the one thing you did know is that you have to have a lot of students. So this means no high school to a false and don't have any regrets. Because when you look back in January, you're only going to regret the things you didn't do.
it's important to talk about our issues from the friendship side of the past three years. My friends mean a lot to me, probably more than they understand. Something they'll never forget are the countless memories we have all made together. Since the start of sophomore year here, I, I felt at home at our issues, which is why my high school experience has been so memorable. Everyone needs their own mark in high school, and the one lesson I would like to leave with you all as my mark is cherished friendships. I wouldn't trade my time here for anything in the world. When you're here for people at high school is the best way of your life, it's true. No matter how you look at it, who your friends are, you will have an experience the last lifetime. So you must leave your mark. Transferring to our issues, I didn't know what to expect. I just took it all in and learned from all the other classes. I was reunited with many old friends and instantly made so many new friends. And now that I'm a senior, I can probably say that all these people have helped influence my character today. Transferring in was a little scary. I didn't know if I was going to find the right friends because all the right friend groups would have been formed after freshman year. Fortunately, I was wrong and it was one of the best surprises. I was a little shy after freshman year coming in, but once I found the boys in this season's contemporary music class, I never think it's going to be okay. All my boys played sports here, like hockey, soccer, football, baseball, but I did. I came in knowing I was going to be playing hockey for the Boston Advantage, and I don't regret that for a second. And just like here, I made friends there that will also last a lifetime. All these people have influenced my character today, and I wouldn't be on the stage right now if I hadn't met someone. Like I already said, I love my time here. The little things I miss the most, like hanging out with the boys on the weekend, trying to find a plan, or running on the lunch so I could get a seat at our table. It's been the best three years of my life. I'll never forget my time here, and I never thought I would go by this quickly. Coming here, I never thought I would meet the kind of people that I did. I grew up in Branchy, basically getting taught to not like the artist kids, but I couldn't. I came here for reasons that neither myself or anyone else would ever understand. And I wouldn't change that for anything. The friendships and memories you're making within these walls can and will change your life forever. Thank you, Steve, for being part of your journey. But I'm sorry, boys, a bunch for the kid that you don't know is sitting next to the all of your class. Everyone is, everyone is here to help you shape the person you're a person to become. So cherish these relationships and those truly change your life forever. Thanks, for being
Into the museum of the world, you're now a little better here. Trust me. You take so many pictures, laugh often, and don't work. You're only to me for once, and you'll always regret the things you did do more than the things you did. It's in our nature to stress and try to make everything a certain way. The truth is, nothing's perfect, and you're exactly where you're meant to be in the starting moment. So embrace the fact that you'll never have the same place, and be confident in whatever it is you decide to do. I've learned to trust this thing for everyone, and everything will work itself out in the end. My own personal struggle with overcoming loss and physical obstacles is giving me the outlook on how I'm going to live my life. We can't control the cards that we're dealt, but we do have the power to decide who we make them. This has taught me that life can change in the blink of an eye and to never take anyone or anything for granted. Nothing in life is guaranteed, so tell your family you love them every day to get. Losing faith felt like the end of the world, and I think everything seems to be in the office right now. So hug your friends a little tighter, because you never know the last time you'll be. And you might think you have forever and tell someone how you feel, but you don't. So never leave everything on set. Never forget how quickly life can change and appreciate what you have because someday it could all be gone. But most importantly, life never stops being anything you wish to do. We started before we did it, but I all you care about is making friends with you. Friends, making memories with you, friends. You think you have all the time to work a I still fly as I believe that. And, and as you spend your time here, you realize that there are people that have amazing memories that will make self sexual or any sort of change. I was not one of those. I've been in the playoffs twice in my four years of high school, once with my sophomore year for hockey, and once with a senior for soccer. I didn't want to do it. Uh, but that's not what matters. What matters is the lessons I've learned, the memories I made, and the friends that I have. Most importantly, that I have. I enjoyed the team bus trips, the team dinners. I enjoyed all the memories that they gave. I enjoyed the messages that the, coach had, the coaches had for us. Little, little memories are small, just like me. They change the way you look at things and give you a better thing. They change us the person. I can go on and on about how little things are help me with this, little things shape you that way. But I don't want to, I don't want to go that way. Instead, I want you to close your eyes, think of a memory from high school that you enjoyed. One that you makes you want to go back to high school all the way. Keep that first day of freshman year. When you have it, open your eyes. Enjoy it, cherish it, don't want to go. Because 
long talk about what I was feeling, and I soon the doctors to find out I was struggling from depression and anxiety. But that's not the story I'm here to talk about. I'm here to tell you about how I went through this season and why it's such a struggle. I never gave up on this story of I continue to work hard on and off the of But working by myself, I found love this story all over again. Even when I was at my lowest, I never let anyone tell me what I can and cannot do. I'm proud to be up here to tell you all that all the hard work came out. I've been continuing my passion for another four years of playing college soccer, which has always been doing that. But that rose that dream was full of bumps and bruises. It's important to know that any dream you might have will come with plenty of highs and lows. But those highs will overcome the lows. But also remind you that everything you went through is worth it. The same thing you can do. Giving that game and goal was a high in the season that sums all the lows up. It truly proved that everything is worth it and that all that extra work paid off. I'm grateful for my artist friends who supported me, even if they didn't know the whole story. I'll leave you with this important lesson. If any of you feel like you're losing your passion for something you once loved, just now, follow it. Keep working on it. Because everything does get better. My parents always told me when it first started, and that's why I never gave up. I learned that not everyone is going to love this work the same way I do. And once I realized that, I began to grow as a person and an athlete. Not everyone will agree with your beliefs, but it's still important for you to believe in yourself. I've grown into believing in that, because once I did, I became who I am today. I don't know. 
there are some obstacles until it's over, which is why it's so important to appreciate every moment. Starting with freshman year. It's your first year of real responsibilities, you're the youngest one in school, and the biggest change of all. School doesn't start at 8.15 a.m. anymore. All you want is five more minutes in bed on Monday mornings. Five minutes until you get dismissed from class for something that they call the last lecture. Then, all of a sudden, it's five minutes left of your last history class ever with Mr. Waller. And just like that, it's sophomore year. Sophomore year. How are you going to survive without this class? Don't worry, there's only five minutes left of one loss of scenario. Five minutes until the Thanksgiving rally. You get your first five minutes of the time on the varsity sports team. You're a completely different person when it comes down to the last five minutes of the sophomore girls in the Then quickly, it's five minutes into your sweet 16, and you blink in your upper class. Junior year. Five minutes left to junior guidance on Friday afternoon. Five minutes until that 1130 bell, and you can finally get your hair done for your first prom. The panic, five minutes before your pyramid interview. Then, what feels like five minutes go by, and you're on the pyramid retreat, and senior year is underway. Senior year, five minutes until that first 1159 p.m. application deadline that changes everything. As a senior, you're no longer looking ahead five minutes, you're enjoying the last of the five minutes. Five minutes left of your last Friday night football game. Five minutes left of your last long walk ever. All you want is five more minutes of laughing with your friends in the APL in the morning. Five minutes left of your last deadline on Friday. Then it comes down to five minutes before you go on stage for your last lecture. It feels like only five minutes ago when you had four years, and I only have four days for graduation. If I were to leave you with one thing to remember throughout high school, it would be to enjoy every minute you get. Don't dwell on the last five minutes, and don't anticipate the next five. Step out of your comfort zone to try something new. Talk to someone you could never imagine being friends with. Enjoy taking notes into the same class. Enjoy the sound of the auditorium to experience. Enjoy the busy, crazy hallways. Enjoy when long walk is like I'm going to flow. Because I know you've heard it multiple times before, and it is true. High school flies by. One minute you're sitting in the auditorium for freshman orientation, the next thing you know, you're sitting in the same seat, and this time is for graduation. As Andy Bernard once said, I wish there was a way to know you in the good old days before you've actually left us. Actually, there is a way to know. Look around. When you leave this place, the only thing that you'll have left of our is the memories. So don't wish it all away. It doesn't matter how many minutes you get, just know that the minutes that you spend with the new falls here at our teams will be some of the best of your life. So enjoy them and make the most of them, because time truly really does fly when having fun. Yeah, so congratulations.